Hello everyone, Solarshi here, bringing you a new video. This video is going to be Boomer Draft. Can we win the Stanley Cup with a bunch of Boomers? So, it's going to be a full team. Everyone's going to be over the age of 34 or 35. I haven't officially decided yet, but once we get in, I will decide. And, uh, um, yeah, we're going to see if we can win the Stanley Cup year one. If you guys are interested in me trying to... Um, Continue this on after um, the season's over with. So, like, a bunch of people are going to retire. Um, we're going to call this Boomer as a GM. Um, but, yeah. That's Bomber. Okay. But, um, if you guys want to see what happens after um, the season I was over with, I can try and go for the next year and see if I can bring that back to a Stanley Cup, it'll be a bunch of awful players because, you know, all the good players I have are going to be retiring, but we'll have tons of cap, so that's a good sign. Um, we're going to keep that off so we can keep it going quickly. We'll have no fancy, um, we'll have fancy draft, no salary, because boomers are sometimes expensive, you know? So yeah, and then, I think that's it here, but, yeah, that should, should be it. So we're just going to get a bunch of players over 34, I think. Because that's about the age of like a decent overall player. 14's fine. How do I start it? I don't see it. The button. Start. Okay, good thing I click start. <clears throat> Alright, with our first pick for the boomers, we go with Patrice Bergeron, 34 years old. He is now a boomer in the NHL. Unlucky. For the next pick, we go with Brent Burns. And the next pick, we go with... Ryan Suter. Next we go with... It's very easy to get Boomer D-Man. But... They started disappearing. They're high overall. So, we're gonna get him early. We'll get a goalie later. We'll get Lundqvist probably, because... No one really likes getting him at 37. Uh, 33 years old. Tough. You're too young. Um, actually, we might go with two goalies. We might go a a one, one a one b, with a with a flurry and it somebody else. Split the games too, because we got no cap. So, I just remembered. This team's looking actually like it can win a Stanley Cup. Because all these other teams are going to be going for like potential and like long term situation. And I'm going for Cup year one. So I, I kind of have an advantage this way. But. Yeah. It, sh I sh it should be fun seeing if we can win the Cup right off the bat. I think we can. Just here. Because all these guys have experience, you know? They've been playing a long time. Um, sure, to Daniel Char. He's not bad. In this game, he's usually a plus 40. It's not, not a decent team. Uh, we'll get a Kovalchuk. He usually pulls out 40 goals somehow. We'll go with Koivu, then Joe Thornton, because he's younger. Just because, in case Koivu got drafted when we picked Thornton, we still have a chance at Thornton. See, so yeah, there he is, still there. Oh yeah, we gotta go get the other 
goalie now. Let's see if, if Lundqvist is still there. Probably not, but we'll see. Oh my god, Mike Smith's still there. Actually, who's better? Mike Smith or Halak? We'll go reflexes. Halak. Up to the squad, buddy. We got Mr. Game 7. Wah. We already know we're winning the cup then if we're getting Mr. Game 7. We're going to have a great team, boys. wonder if everyone's going to retire after year one. What do you with a sniper? Set a brick still here. We'll go with Jeff Carter. Uh, hopefully Jeff Carter is old enough actually. If not, we might have to trade for some boomers before the season starts. See what they want. Yeah, Jeff Carter was old enough. I just was making sure. Alright, um what do we what do we got? We got four D men. We got a left winger. Any left wing boomers out there? There is. Alright, so we just got a guy with a good shot. Let's get a good guy with passing. Is that puck skills? We're not getting Zetterberg. He's not good enough. Alright, whoever's higher, Steen or Vanek. Alright, Steen wins. Another winger. We want a defensive, a defensive winger for sure. Actually, that's just one more guy. That's a, a good skater. Love we'll a good skater. Any boomers that are good skaters out there? What the hell? Alright, Patty Marlowe. Yeah, you're a great skater. Great great guy, too. Alright. And now, the last two defensemen are just going to be locked down, guys. Any green? Actually, we'll go defenseman. No. No, what's the best right now? 81. Then we'll go. Boomer, let's go. Braden Coburn. And now. We're running almost on 10 minutes. We haven't started simulating. We better hurry. Um, and then Bowmeister. And now we're gonna go just defensive forwards.
Hurry up, hurry up. Why does this take so long? No way it froze. No, it didn't. Okay. I don't know why it took so long there. One more defensive forward. Alright, Dustin Brown. That should be enough, eh? Let's go. We'll see. Oh, it's taking a long time again. Round 21. So, 21. So, that's... 68... 13 forward. So, I, that's my extra guy. Or Felpulous Magic or something. I don't know. We're going to send the entire draft because we don't care about the AHL. Plus, maybe they, the rest of the picks there will pick guys that are like, going to actually like be young. <laughs> Walker, Gustafsson, Kazi. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they actually were smart with the rest of our picks. But this is Cup Year 1. And we'll, we're going to try to win it. Alright. How do I go? Alright, it's loading. Very, very slowly. But, we're going to show you the lines as soon as we can. Um, right here, edit lines. So, our team is looking like that. We got Parise. We got Getzlop, Bergeron, Parise, Kovalchuk, Pavelski, and Steen. Koivu, Carter, and Brown, Justin Williams, Philpula, and Thornton. Um, Burns and Chidano, Char and Suter, Coburn and Bowmeister. Um, two plus twos and then a, a minus two is tough. That's the best I can do there. Offense. I don't know, do you think these boomers can win the cup, boys? Sean Walker, actually a decent prospect. But, um, Patty Marlowe's on the bench. Well, it's tough to see, tough to see. Alright, um, roster moves. Let's look at the AHL real quick. Well, team's awful. Tim Gettinger. Alright, we're gonna go to roster moves again. And we'll send down Marlo and Walker. We're gonna get some injuries off. And we're gonna go edit lines actually first. HL lines and then go from there. I don't think it's good it'll be possible for me to have a good team after this season if I was gonna decide to continue that. But we're gonna turn injuries off. Um so we can have a good chance at winning. Because um, if the injuries weren't off you don't know wanna you don't wanna know what would happen with these old bones. Every every game there'd be an injury. Um, I'm gonna turn off all the trades too. 
to try to make this as quick as possible. And we're going to see if the Boomers can win a cup. The Boomers are so far not doing well in preseason. But that could be because they have done so many preseasons that they don't even care. They know it, do it doesn't mean anything for them. We're going to keep on cruising. We don't care about scouting. Come on. And we are doing too bad. We are two and one, three and one. Let's go, boomers. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad so far. Okay. Five and five, that's tough. Five and six. Five and seven. Six and seven, okay. Well, it's a good year for rookies. Well, we don't want rookies. We want boomers out here in, in Detroit. I mean, we're third in the Atlantic. I mean, to second in the Atlantic. There's still a chance for us to do decently well. You never know. We got a trade. Is that a boomer? Is that Pozo a boomer? I don't think so. Close. I should change the block for to only people over 34. And that's what we're going to do real quick. Bergeron has 24 points in 30 games. I... Don't have the scoring high, I'm sorry. We're not going to do it halfway through the season. But we're going to... What are we, where are we? Trading block. We want... What about people over 34, you know? You got any 34-year-olds any laying around, boys? Because... I can come improve my team. Welcome. Surplus. You know what our surplus is, boys? People under 34. <laughs> 33 and under. You guys are interested in anyone 33 and under? We'll give them away to you. Or the same age, but higher overall, you know? I didn't explain that well. I mean, we'll take we'll take your boomers for if they're better than our boomers. We'll give you boomers that are worse than your boomers, I should say. So we're gonna go to. Player search. And we're going to go for... Actually, we messed up. Player search. People 34 and over. Not when I searched. Is there a way to save it? There we go. We're gonna go find trade actually. Because that is not what we need. 
so we're gonna go by age. We don't want those eighteen year olds. Okay, um No yeah, no old people. You got an old person, but he won't make the team actually, so we don't want him. We'll make the team. We'll make the team. All these boomers aren't old enough, you know? Or good enough. We got the best boomers out here. We could use Duncan Keith. And Ovechkin. These guys know what they're doing over here. In Vegas. But they won't trade him, so... Tough. What about Soderberg? He can make fourth line. Walker's probably our biggest piece, so we're not going to trade him yet. want to get one of the best, the good boomers, you know, if we can. We could use a Dustin Bufflin. He's not for sale. Shoot. We could use an Eric Stahl. I don't want to trade any of the boomers, boys. What's going on? All right, well, we're just going to see if we get offered anything. If not, then we're going to go into into the Stanley Cup playoffs with who we have and see if these boomers can pull it off. It comes down to this. We're just going to go, and if we get offered a trade, we'll accept it as long as it is a boomer in return. Or someone that will make the lineup. Because it looks like we need a little bit of help. I mean, we are second in, in the Atlantic, but we need to be a little bit better. I mean, we are 21 and 14 and 4 and 1. I mean, that is not bad. We are playing pretty good hockey. If we can get anything to improve this team, just barely, I could see us win the cup. These boomers know what they're doing. They've done it for 20 plus years, most of them. And we got a trade, but it does not include a boomer, so we don't care. Again, we don't care. I think we might have to trade some first overall picks. Uh, we did not um, turn off trades, but and we forgot to click it. But it's all right. We're almost at the deadline. No one wants to give us their boomers. Tough. We are playing pretty good hockey still. A lot of trades going on. Okay, we're gonna go edit trade and try and acquire a boomer. And there's no boomers on this team. Not yet, actually. We're going to play a little bit more. See who's not performing well enough. Maybe trade Boomer for Boomer. We're going to edit.
We're going to stop simulating. And we are going to see how everyone's doing. So this is regular scoring. This is non-high. I forgot to change it. I usually do. But this, this is pretty good hockey for most of these guys. Um, considering they're all staying healthy. 40-point season for Justin Williams. I just, it's some good hockey out here. Who is playing the worst? I mean, that third line is not great. Carter Brown and Kovalchuk are not performing as good as they could. I'm going to see if I can trade them for Boomer. So, we are going to go to find trade. I'm going to see. Hold on. Is this going to go by my... No, probably not. Tough. Can I trade Boomer for Boomer? Say I want to want my Boomer. No one wants my Boomer? Tough. This Boomer? No one wants these boomers, boys. These boomers are about to win a cup, so they're lost. Everyone wants a Joe Pavelski. Come on. No. Okay. Well, Goldchuck, what are you doing, dude? You're absolutely shit. And they're only gonna give us picks, so we're gonna go. And try and acquire a Alex Ovechkin. Um, proposed trade. <laughs> what team is he on? A Shea Weber wouldn't be nice too. That is a lot of trade value. We are not going to be able to get him. And it wouldn't be worth it. Where are you at, Ovi? Ovi. There you are. What is it going to take to get this, Ovi? I will give you all of my good picks. Is that gonna be? Is that good enough? Actually, we won't give you that one. Rejected. Yeah, rejected. What if I'll, if we do give you that one? There's no way you said no. What? What about we'll go to forwards? Alright, so who has the least amount of points? Thornton. Thornton's not even playing. Well, I think he's impossible to get. So, we're going to go for a different boomer. <laughs> what? Alright, we'll go with Buff Bufflin. Fuck it. How many, how many is it going to take? Two? Three. Oh, so let's see. There's no way they're all defensemen. All right.
I don't know what's going on. You're telling me. You don't want five first round picks for a guy that's gonna retire in less than two years. These guys are really, really not smart people. That's all I gotta say. Really not smart. Alright, we're gonna get somebody while we're here. We're not gonna waste time. Um, sure, and Eric Stahl, he would make the team. There's no way he wants five first round picks, though. We're gonna give him three. Two. I'll give you a second too. Right. We could have got more people, but I'm not gonna sit here all day and do that. Um, I don't know why Thornton wasn't playing. Marla went in, took a spot. I mean, seventeen points, twelve points. 17 points for card, okay. Welcome to the lineup, Thornton, again. Let's see what happens. We'll see what happens, for sure. We feel plus one that way. Okay. Well. We will see if we win the cup now. That is all the moving we're going to do. And we're just going to simulate the rest of the season now. And we'll see what happens here. So far, we're 36-28-2. It's a pretty good record. Um, let's see. What, we're third in the Atlantic. Do you think we'll win the cup? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's looking like we're, we're playing pretty well. I'd say we're at least making the playoffs. Cross my fingers. We're on the border of being a good team and just missing playoffs. It's pretty pretty big border. But the Atlantic race is very close right now. And you never know what's going to happen with this simulating. I... I I'm losing. We're losing right now. As we got Eric Stahl, I mean, we played better without him. But we have made the playoffs. Let us go. We play Ottawa first round. So far, it is we're 0 and 2. 0 and 3. Are we going to get swept? The Boomers got swept. What is this? Well. We'll see who wins the cup here. Um, that's that's crazy. We're gonna check out the stats before we simulate the rest of the year. But the Boomers have been swept in four games. They should have the most experience, most of them, in the cup. I actually clicked the wrong button. And the Ottawa Senators are the Stanley Cup playoffs champions. So. That is very interesting. Um, the team that beats us wins the cup, so you can't be too mad. I mean, stall we got late. How did he do with us? We started playing bad after we acquired him. Um, let's see how he did it in a, in a stint. 17 points in 18 games, so it was not his fault. Um, Burns did good. Gets up did good. How did... How these guys do in their games that they got subbed in? Alright, so... Jeff Carter got subbed out. Okay, so Thornton had 13 points in 18 games. Marlowe had 5 points in 18 games. So, I mean, they did as good as them. Thornton did a little bit better than Carter, I'd say. I mean, you never, uh, who knows what would happen. But... Yeah, it was a very interesting season. 
We lost first round. Bergeron didn't do as good as I expected him to do. I mean, how did Parisi get as many points as you? Interesting. Um, awards. We'll see who got in the awards. So Ottawa, obviously, um, with the Stanley Cup. Presidents to Vegas. Minnesota got the Clarence. So the Boomers got the Presidents. I remember he had, they had Ovi and Duncan, I think. And then Minnesota won the Clarence. Ottawa won the, the Prince of Wales, too. Um, Art Ross went to McDavid. Hart went to McDavid. Norris went to the Larson. McKenna went to Woodbing. Calder went to Gurnoff. Consmith went to Rene. Grubar Vezina. Jennings Kemper. Um, Velasic with Bill Masterson. Colbert with that. And then uh, with Adams. Kopitar with Selkie and McDavid with uh, Ted Lindsay. Kucherov with the Maurice Richard. So we are going to go check out how many points they had actually before we end the video. Um, actually. How many points did the guy we sent down to Grand Rapids have? <sighs> I, don't, I think he got called back up. Interesting. I don't know. Alright, well, um... Entire league... AHL leader was Partsonen. Interesting, never heard of him. All right, um, and the NHL, 123 points for Connor McDavid, and the scoring is on medium. A lot of them. Wait, what? Maybe the score wasn't on medium, and we just had a poor season. Ovechkin didn't take the five. Ovechkin and Crosby, same team. Wow, I I, I realized that. But yeah, well. Thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you guys have a great, great day. Make sure you subscribe and like. And uh, if you like videos like this, make sure you comment below. And peace.